Hello Internet, Parag Dhawan here. In this video, we will see how to save and load NumPy array on disk. Let's start. In the first cell, we are importing NumPy library and giving it a alias NP. Click on the cell and run the cell. This will load NumPy library and it will give it a alias NP. In the next cell, we are creating NumPy arrays for storing and loading it from the disk. Here we are creating in the first statement a single dimensional NumPy array A having elements 1 to 3. In the statement 3, we are creating two dimensional NumPy array using arrays function having data type float. Click on the cell and run the cell. You can see at the output a one dimensional NumPy array was created and a two dimensional NumPy array was created. First, we are saving a single NumPy array on the disk and then after saving it, we are loading it into our program. For saving a single dimensional NumPy array on the disk, we can use np.save function, give it a suitable name followed by a extension npy and the name of the array which is to be saved. In this case, we are saving a on the disk by the name myarray.npy. After saving the NumPy array, you can load that array into your program name by which you have saved. In this case, myarray.npy, we will use np.load function to bring it back into our program. It will return the NumPy array and it will be stored in a variable L. Click on the cell and run the cell. L contains the NumPy array which was stored. If we print the content of variable L, it shows that it has a NumPy array with the element 1, 2, 3. So we have used np.save function for saving a single dimensional NumPy array and for loading it np.load function. Extension was .npy. In the next example, we will save multiple NumPy arrays on the disk and then load them. For saving multiple NumPy arrays, we have to use np.saveZ function, a suitable name by which it is to be saved on the disk, followed by an extension npz in single quotes, followed by the name of array separated by commas. In this case, we are saving two arrays A and B. Click on the cell and run the cell. By this, we have saved array A and B on the disk. To load this array into our program, we will use np.load function and name of the array which, which is to be loaded from the disk, array.npz. So L contains all the arrays which are loaded, uh, which are there on the disk loaded into the program with the name L. To see how many arrays are there in our L variable, we can use L attribute files. It shows at the output a list array 0 and array 1 means we know that there are two array. To access the content of first array, we will use list indexing. L, the first index will give the first array which will be stored in ARR1. Click on the cell and run the cell. ARR1 contains the first array which was loaded on the disk. If we check the content, it is 1 to 3 and LARR1 will retrieve the second array which was stored on the disk. It will be retrieved and stored in ARR2 variable. If we print the content of ARR2 variable, it will show that it is a two dimensional NumPy array with respective elements. You can store any number of uh, arrays and retrieve them and access their content. Just you have to use np.saveZ function and give the suitable uh, name followed by an extension npz and to load it from the disk, you have to use np.load function. So in this video, we have seen how to save a single NumPy array and multiple NumPy arrays on the disk and retrieve them. Thank you. Thanks for watching.